Nigel, 1-1 one, one draw today, what did you make of it? Well, it was another performance that we were looking to build on. Uh, an excellent performance we'd week against Newcastle. I thought we started well for a minute and then we give a goal away from a corner. So that was, uh, I was disappointed. Uh, we've actually cleared the first little bit and they've gone and scored from that. But we've responded. Uh, you know, Nua Dicko, for example, has had four clear one-on-one -on -one situations breaking into the box. Um, Todd Kane, the keeper's made a great save from a corner. Something we worked on, got to Todd in a great position and uh, good contact on the ball. Keeper's made a good save. Uh, the goal we've gone score from Jared Bowen, talked about working on it. Paid Todd on that side where he's got a good right foot, he's got good delivery. And again, our front movement, our setup was perfect and uh, it's got Jared through one on one on goal and he's gone and scored it. So they were really, really pleasing. Um, things we've got to go and work on but uh, it was another game towards trying to get to where we want to be this season. Yeah, the long ball looks to be a good weapon in pre-season because Jordi Device played a beautiful pass upfield as well in the Newcastle game. Jordi Device, he, he spanked ball of the season for me. That would, <laughs> that, for me, that's probably going to be a hard goal to beat because uh, the way he drilled the ball was magnificent against Newcastle. Um, and obviously, uh, Van Der Rohe scored the goal. So, uh, but from my point of view, we want, we've got a team that have got a good range of passing. And again, the, the goal we scored today has come from four or five, six, seven, eight, maybe ten real good short shot passes into grit uh, and then a, a range of passes from Todd to go and put uh, Jared in. So I was really pleased with that. Uh, as I say, things we've got to keep working on. The players are well aware of it. We talked about that in the dressing room. A bit disappointed with both centre-halves have, have ended up coming off. Uh, but, but then it's obviously give Angus a little bit more game time, which he desperately needs. Um, it shows the size of the squad we've got. Everyone's going to be involved. I think uh, I've made that perfectly clear. We need to, we need to still strengthen the, the group before the transfer window shuts. Uh, that's something we're actively trying to do. Yeah, and were those two substitutions bringing the centre out? So were they just precautionary? Oh, they were injured. Um, Jordy's got a nasty cut over his eye, yeah. so um, he's come off and uh, he's come off straight away. Um, and towards the end there, obviously you saw the um, uh, Reese Burke. He got a nasty kick on his on his leg and he, he couldn't carry on. So there was two force changes from that point of view. Um, but it was nice that we've got a little bit more game time for uh, John Terrell, for example, um, getting a little, a little bit of game time. And Nuba Dick has played 90 minutes. Angus, thanks very much for your time. Your first game back at Oakwell, what did you make of it? Uh, obviously, didn't expect to, to get as many minutes as did, but obviously, you know, with Geordie going down injured, it was uh, it was time to step up, and it was uh, it was enjoyable to get a nice reception. I didn't think that was going to happen. <laughs> Good competition for places though in the centre half for all with the two coming off earlier on. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, it's it's always it's always good to have competition. It always keeps you on toes. Always makes you hungry. So. So two la two new lads have come in and have uh, really stepped the game up. Yep. Have they stepped? They've, you say there they've stepped the game up as well. What about the rest of the new players coming? How have they gelled into the current squad? Everyone they just they just slotted right in. It's uh, it's been easy. It's like we've had no new players really. They've uh, slotted in well. We've all played games. We've all gelled. So it's been good. Yeah. In terms of maybe changes tactically from last season, has there been anything that's changed? Has there been anything different in this pre-season that you've done before? No, not really. Obviously, I I played under Atkins last year, so the manager. The manager wanted the same as what he wanted last year, and he's brought that into this this uh, this preseason. And it's obviously try to try to step foot with the new players and get that in their mentality as well. Are you just itching to get ready for the new season like we are behind the scenes? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, there's only a week to go now, so pre-season's finally out the way and done with. I think that's what we all like to hear. So. Yep. And what are your predictions from a player's perspective for this season? Be at the other end of the table this season instead of down at the bottom. And overall, as your first pre-season in charge as Hull City manager, how do you feel it's been? How have the players reacted to what you've wanted to do in pre-season? How's it been overall? It's good attitude, behaviours of the players have been top draw. The staff have been magnificent. Uh, the players have applied themselves in the right way. Uh, I've talked about trying to get the right amount of bodies in before the season pre-season started. Um, that didn't happen, but we managed to get a few more players in who have acquitted themselves really well. Great opportunity for the 10-11 the under 23s players that have been with us who actually make up the squad now when we look at it. You know, I want this to be a pathway through the youth team. That, in effect, uh, the, the cascade of that, actually, you know, we're taking the, the, the 10 of the under-23s, so it means the under-23s are shorter players. So the 18s have moved up for them. The 16s then move up to the 18s. So that does have an effect through the football club. So the long-term planning, we want to get right on that. So um, the squad of players. But likewise, I want to bring a few more players in to, uh, to help bolster the squad. And, um, you know, but the spirit's good. Fitness is good, would have liked us to have scored a few more goals and we had opportunities to do it in the first half. Uh, good workout against the Barnsley side, 
Uh, so for me, it's, we get, we get uh, through the North Ferriby game uh, and then we get ready for the start of the season.